Good morning guys, how you going? So today I'll be widening up a couple of holes in the rear bar and grinding them flat, priming and painting them. So it's gonna involve dismantling the uh, rear bar corners and um, dropping the battery off so I can then do some welding. So haven't welded in quite a long time. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we'll soon find out. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So I'm just going to back the car up here. I can't get it under the carport, but it will give me some uh, shade for the day, I guess. So we'll go and do that. Let's go and turn it around. Get to about there, so I need to get in the back. Should put a little B down here. Alrighty. Just need to get in here before I back up a bit further. So I reckon. I thought I bought some primer. Where did I put it? Let me go find that primer. All right, so I've got this um, Rust-Oleum matte black, which is gonna go on as a final coat. And I just have some primer filler in case I get any low spots. And if I need to, I'll get the sander out. But the plan here is to uh, Remove these end caps on both sides. Now I do have a, a little bee down here. I'm gonna have to relocate him so I don't get stung. Um, so you gotta remove both of those on both sides. And I've gotta fill these two holes here. And I wanna fill this in from the previous owner. And then we'll I'll get that hole re-drilled when the catch goes on. So how I'll do that is I'll put a beater on the outside here and I'll fill my way up and then I'll keep filling it and then I'll have to grind that back so I'll end up being a big blob. Grind it back and I should be okay. That's the plan on that one anyway. So um, yeah, we'll get to uh, dismantling things, I guess. Okay. I could paint it with this on, which wouldn't be an issue, except that bar extends way past there, and you can see where I've had it go here before and it didn't turn out very well. So, yeah, I'll take both of them off, and um, and yeah, we'll, we'll get to it, and start uh, grinding that back with a flat disc and, and welding it up, I guess. What I'll do first, so I'll get me a little quarter inch drive socket set. And I believe that is a 10 mil from memory. So 
in here we go. Start on the back. Yep, definitely 10 mil. Get a little bit of an extension. So with these, you can remove the mud flap. So we've got one bolt here that comes out. It's easy as that. There's another underneath here with a mud flap. Now in here, remove the extension because we're not going to need it. And there's a whole bunch of them on the inside here for the mud flap. They'll definitely come loose and you can do it by hand. So we'll do that when it wants to. So then we get to it. And they're all the same length so you can't really mess, mess them up or get them wrong. Obviously a lot easier if you have smaller tyres, but I don't. I'm running 33s. And some of these are feel a little stripped. Gonna have to look at doing something with uh, the, the speed nuts behind them. I think that's what's in them. I'll check that when I get this off. So this is the side that my wheel carrier is gonna go on as well. So that's your mud flap, all off, nice and easy. I'll put all these screws with it. So, well, all those bolts. So we'll move all those bolts back with the mud flap. And then, we start on the actual bar end. So there's another one that you'll see in there. It's right down the bottom. That comes off. That's right down here for you wondering. On there. Look at these bar ends, nice clean too. Now from there, we have to get up under the car and probably get for a longer extension. I can't remember what size the bolts are, so I'll let you know when I get there. So yeah, these step up now to, I've got one, I don't know if you can see it, but one here, one here, and then maybe that will come off. I can't remember. Maybe there's another couple on a plate. We'll work it out in a sec. So, see, so yeah, there's a couple underneath here, which is like the 14s. Could be 13s. We'll have a look in a sec. So, no, 12's way too big. So, yep, it's a 12. So, twelve here. Oh, 
this globe that's over here. There's a really weird plastic washer on it. Don't even know if that's meant to be there. Anyway, so. Now I've got to remember, does this just unclip? Is there more? This one here is like an eight mil by the looks of it. Um, I think that's part of it. I'll take it off anyway. I reckon that's it. Should now just unclip. I right, hope right, that bracket's there. Let's get the longer extension. I've seen this come off plenty of times while doing the wheel carrier bracket, but don't know where that came from. Right over there. Um, but yeah, never actually taken off myself. Good, good to see I can do the, that bar cover with just a few screws. There's a nut up here. That's better. All right. In a sec, when I remember to get the remaining bolt out. Always one that you forget. Which should be this one here. Where are you going? All right. Now, we'll be changing into long pants when I weld. I'll go with my welding equipment. So there we go, that's that one. So to remove this plate, you got one, two, three, four, and that'll come off. Super easy, it's like a big Lego set. So, we'll, uh, we'll get this one sorted. And uh, now I can look at disconnecting the battery in a little while. And I'll get the flat disc out and grind down those surfaces that I've got to weld before we do that. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, sort all that out. Look, I've been battling spiders in the rear of this for 
quite some time. I got rid of most of them. Yep, you know what was going to happen. Wind just blew it over. All right. Let's dig these out. They all stick together. There we go. So, if you're wondering, I've got spider egg sacs there. I will uh, torch them later. I'll leave them there for now. There we go, guys. Jeez. That doesn't go all the way up for some reason. All right, so there you go. That's all, that's all dismantled, as you can see. Quite straightforward. Can't really get in the back of it unless around the side here. Last night I did notice a, uh, a screw sticking out behind here that someone had um, snapped off and moved the plug over. So I'm gonna uh, set up my grinding disc and stuff now and uh, I'll get to grinding this out because I'm not happy with that finish anyway. Grind it down, get it smooth, I'll prime it. Um, I'll get it where I need it and uh, then we'll hit it with some paint. I'll have to give it a bit of a wash, it's a bit dirty, but yeah, I'll paint up for one to here. I'm going to tape off the back end so I don't overspray the car. Well, there you go. Pretty straightforward. This is awkward. Give me fun welding. Okay. So, let's quickly go over it with you guys. So, got my helmet on, got my angle grinder. So, obviously, safety is your best course of action when doing something like this. Be very careful. See, so all I'm doing now, I'm just going to grind these back and uh, we'll see how we go. As you see, it's good to have a glove on because that twice that hit me, that would have shredded my fingers. I'm just checking it now. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So, flat discs are great. Yeah, that fixed the finish up on that a lot. So what I'll do, I'll weld it up, obviously, then I'll grind it back, go over it with all the flat discs so I get it nice and smooth again. And uh, go from there. Obviously, there's another spot over here I haven't seen yet. Oh, crap. Just needs a bit of a run over to smooth it out. Gets that nice and smooth, ready for uh, everything else. Happy with that, it was good. Cool. All right, I'm going to set up the welder. We'll need to disconnect the battery, so. Give me a few minutes on that one. No. 
disconnect that. See how the sun's building down in it. So, just going to take off my terminal here, which is like everything hooked up to it. Um, yeah, once I undo that, then that'll come off, and um, and yeah, I can get started welding. So it's just one screw on these. These are a two-up uni lug connector. Good for those batteries that don't have the extra posts at the front. That will need to be changed at some point. Uh, these batteries are pretty old by the looks of it. Couldn't even tell you what year it is. Old enough that the other one that was replaced at the same time is already cooked and that was the auxiliary. So anyway, I'll get started on that and uh, we'll keep going. All right, so a couple of welding rods to start with. Welders there. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, a bit nervous to be honest. Don't know how well it's going to turn out. I guess uh, you can always grind it, right? But yeah, we'll see how we go. So I'm earthed up over here on the chassis rail with the welder. This is my welder here. It's just a little 120 amp SIG weld. Picked up pretty cheap a few years ago and I haven't really had to use it, so I figured if I need a welder, I'll grab a welder. And he'll uh, set her up and uh, we'll see how we go. Now I'll start on, uh, on this one first because this is a smaller hole and I'll see how that turns out. So I'm just plugging them, grinding them back. So I ground that back with a 40 grit, then there's a uh, 80 grit and then a 120 grit on the flat discs to uh, finish this off. So but yeah, I've just been just trying to get all these little imperfections out that I could see. So there's a little bit more down here I need to get rid of, but yeah, that'll come out all right. All right, I'll put my gloves on and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get started again, I think. on my foot burnt through me freaking shoe oh boy give me a sec Not so bad. I did put a hole in my shoe though, which is awesome. Not what I wanted to do. Straight through it. It did start welding though. She will still be all right. Just make sure my feet are clear next time. Oh, wow. Okay. That was full on. Watch your shoes, guys. <sighs> Everything clear. Let's paint the house get started. filled in, okay. That one was much better. 
happy with that. Not happy with the pressure of this thing, but all right, let's try here. This is the 40. Yeah, it's the 40. Okay. All right, so this one just needs a little bit of a touch up on these holes. And yeah, this one here, I still need to fill in a bit more. Um, I've already been through one welding rod, so I should be just weld up here. And yeah, what I'm doing is I'm building like a ledge, letting it cool, then st stacking it. And then I'm going to grind it. So I'm probably gonna use about two or three welding rods to do this. I said I haven't welded in quite some time, but I'll be able to fill that up then we'll be able to measure the plate up and redrill that hole through there and uh, it should be good to go so and obviously i'll check behind there when it's cooled down still quite warm um, make sure i've got no built up of anything behind there i don't think i will um yeah but you know but i'm not gonna break it so so i just need to fill these holes up that the original owner did so it's just taking some time um yeah and We'll keep going. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. So you can barely see the holes now on that one. I won't see that when I really paint it up. And yeah, same with this one. Um, obviously I'll let that dry for a little bit, have some lunch, and uh, then I'll just do a quick sand 
on this to try and get it flat again. And then I'll hit it with some paint, let it dry and put everything back together. Then we'll just need to redrill this hole. So, easy. All right, guys. All right, guys. A lunchtime for me. All right, so it's been a long day of uh, priming and filling, pretty much. So, just doing this now. Don't know how well we're going to be able to see it. But I'll try and block it with this. Nope, not very well. So, just in here. A few little divots which will sand out and over here I've almost filled in this uh, this low spot kind of hard to see on camera especially when I'm in direct sunlight but um, yeah so just a little bit of a section here so I'll wait another 30 or 40 minutes and I'll uh, have that done so I did stuff this side up before but I didn't record it and this is why it's taking me so long so it should have been a you know three or four hour jobs now blown out to all day. But said so I had problems filling in the holes over here on this one. You know, not much I can really do about that, but it is what it is. But they'll get covered by the uh, locking plate anyway. Another hole will get drilled in there and then they'll just bolt on on the, on the backside. So it should be pretty straightforward. All right, started painting it finally. Be kind of a bit hard to see here, I think. I'll go from this end so I don't get the sun in the way. So, come out okay. There's a few low spots which you'll see because of the black paint now. So, I've got a low spot here, and there's a couple of spots over here which aren't perfect, but whatever. Um, so, this will get covered up by the latch. So, that's pretty much the only uh, average uh, spot on the car now. But uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be a good when it's all done. So I'm just gonna paint it up and um, get it all back together. If I don't do that tonight, I will be doing that uh, tomorrow morning. <sighs> what a day. I feel horrible. Crappy weather, but you know, is what it is. Um, yeah, if it wasn't for that, uh, stuff up with the primer would have been well done by now, so but you know these things happen nothing goes smoothly Awesome guys catch you in a bit All right time to put it back together everything's dried off <clears throat> Doesn't look too bad So Ooh. Turn it around now and uh, Back her up. And I'll start reassembling. Shouldn't take all that long. So probably about 20 minutes or so. I was gonna do this tomorrow, but I decided, you know what, we'll do it today. I'll just show you the finished product. Obviously you've got to redrill that hole over this side, but that's fine. So, end of the day, it came out pretty good. Not bad for a home job. So, much better than what it was. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we'll work. Uh, We'll put it all back together.
here we go. This is the uh, finished product. It's all back together. Looks pretty good. So this side come out <clears throat> not bad. So a few little bits and pieces, but other than that, you know, I'm happy with how that turned out. It's, and uh, and gee, you can't really see that depression there, which is nice. So yeah, super easy. Anyway, guys. Have a good one. Catch you in the next video.